If you enjoy our content, please hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Make sure you stay tuned until the end for some exciting updates and don't forget to drop your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Welcome back to our live CPU usage graph tutorial. Here, we re-import matplotlib. PyPlot to continue creating dynamic, visually engaging graphs. And here's psuteal again, our trusty library for fetching system utilization data, crucial for monitoring our CPU usage. Importing the animation module from matplotlib to bring our graph to life. Configuring our plot for real-time updates with an audience-friendly appearance. Supersizing our font for legibility. We want everyone, even viewers squinting from afar, to see the data clearly. Crafting our canvas, a figure and an axis for our plot, setting the stage for our CPU performance artwork. Here's our dynamic list to capture CPU usage percentages, acting as the pulsing heartbeat of our graph. Defining our update function, which injects vitality into our graph with fresh data. Snatching the current CPU percentage, adding it to our collection. Keeping our dataset trim, we focus on the latest 50 readings for relevancy and clarity. Off with the oldest data point. We want a graph that's lively and up to date. Clearing the axis, ensuring our graph is neat and tidy for each update. Cleanliness is next to godliness, after all. Plotting anew, with eye catching deep sky blue lines and prominent markers. Our CPU usage is a percentage. So we cap our yaxis at 100%, it's the logical limit. Crowning our graph with a descriptive title, making its purpose clear and dignified. Labeling our yaxis to avoid any confusion. What are we measuring? CPU usage, in percent. And our zaxis gets a label too, representing the flow of time through successive updates. Enlivening our graph with the Funk Animation Wizardry, updating every 1000 milliseconds. And now, the grand reveal, our live updating CPU usage graph. Alright, we've just seen the program in action and checked out the results. If you found this useful and enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share with others who might benefit. For more in-depth support or engineering consultancy services, head over to eprogrammer.com. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.